Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. Welcome to another episode of One Man and His Boat. You've seen the thumbnail, you know what it's about. Well, let's get on with it. Cue the intro, Baz. Right ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, before we go on to anything else, as usual, a little bit of news. So, finally, we're done. What are we done with? We're done with Cygnus Marine Boats. That's it. We finally got these bits of stainless steel from Cygnus Marine Boats, and this is the last piece of the puzzle. So, before we do any painting today, we need to get on and actually fit these. Right, before we go on to actually getting some work done on this vlog, I just want to say a huge thank you to Cygnus Marine Boats, to Steve, Sam, Sarah and everybody else that was involved and a big shout out to our Karen, thank you very much. Karen is from the original Cygnus Boats, so she's the professional in the line. <laughs> um, thank you very much guys. You can tell she's been built properly. There's been a lot of time and care went into this vessel and I hope I'm doing it justice for you guys as well. I hope you keep following us too because things are going to happen soon. Soon we will get that keel wet and we'll get some sort of fishing in for the winter. Fingers crossed. Let's hope so, eh, guys? That's been a long haul so far. <laughs> right, guys, in other news, we've had the sign writer up this week. Lovely fella. But I'm going to go on more about him in his own vlog while he's doing the work. So you'll get to see the process of actually um, the sign writer doing what he does best. And I can't wait to see that myself. So what we've done is we've had a wee uh, day's thinking. He's going to knock things up. We're going to pass it across to the fish officer to see if they'll accept what we're planning. And then once uh, that's complete, then he'll get back up, we'll get started on the job. He reckons it'll take two days to paint the names and numbers on her. And that's just perfect for me. So until then, what I want to do, weather's starting to change a little bit, it's getting a bit cooler now. We really need to rattle on with these painting jobs and the fiberglassing jobs. I want to get the bottom primered up, ready for anti-fouling. Leave it set a wee week or so, get anti-fouled. You'll probably see it all in this video. But first of all, we've actually got to fit these uh, Bulk skill protectors. Thank <laughs> you. 
Done sickness with him boots out, it's bloody thick.
Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave that 24 hours at least, uh, just to get, make sure it's proper dry, because the next phase is painting the bottom. Now, before we're going on to prepping the area for uh, painting the bottom, I want to go a quick couple of words with you, with what I've been taught over the years. So guys, what I was always told is never paint anything that is brass or stainless steel or anything like that because basically if you cover that then if it's got any static electricity it's got nowhere to go but if the bronze or brass is in the water it's got somewhere to go so you never ever cover brass. Things are changing, I do know this, I know you can get propeller paints and all the rest to carry on, I don't know about them. I'm just telling you what I've been told over the generations. So I'm taking it as gospel from the men that knew before me. Um, so on the Lindsay B, we've obviously got this to tape up, that to tape up. We've got our studs at the bottom there. Don't know if you can see that. I'll need to zoom in maybe. Hopefully it doesn't get too dark. We've got our two anode studs this side. Ah, it's definitely too dark this side. Right, give us a second guys. There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Also, we've got two anode studs this side. Uh, we'll get them taped up as well. If we look down the boat a little bit. I'll play shoes first before I move the light. You can see that brass chevron thing there. Um, that's for the Radio frequency, earthen point, and then come with me, come with me. Oh, come with me over the rolling sea. And then we've got this to tape up. So, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen. There's still a lot to do, a lot of prep work before we even think about that. But before we even tape it up, we've got to wash from the water line down, get all the muck and the scum off. Oh, and that reminds me, I want to talk to you about uh, galvanising, painting over galvanised material. Right guys, I wanted to have a quick word about uh, painting over galvanised material. Now, I've had an extensive look online and the rule of thumb seems to be anything over 12 months, it just needs a quick wash over and then you can get on with your primers. However, if you've got anything younger than that, say six months or something, you've actually got to get a good wash down, a wee run over with um, 240 Scotch Brite or something like that, and then a wee wipe down with vinegar. Now that'll take all the residue that's actually on the galvanising itself. But luckily for us, we're at the 12 month point, we're past that actually, so all we need to do is give everything a really good wash down and then we'll get on with the primers, which I'm going to show you in a second. Right guys, because the Lindsay B is brand new, I want to keep the bottom decent for as long as possible. So instead of just whapping antifilm straight onto the fiberglass, what I've decided to do is actually put a barrier coat between the antifouling and the bottom of the boat itself. That way you're giving the glass more chance A to set and B you stop actually getting porous with being in the water all the time. I know the antifouling does that anyway but if you get a little mark then this is just another sort of protection bubble. And the way we're going to do this is by using these primers. Now this is a two pack primer, this is a like a paint and a hardener and you mix them both together and you put that on the boat with a roller system. But then, what we're going to do once that's set, is we're going to go on to our second, which is another Hempel water system, and this is for underneath the water line. And we'll put that on top of the twin coat, and then that'll give us another layer before we put the final layer of antifouling on. Right, boys and girls, this is the antifouling. This is the last of the three layers, and this is the one that does most of the protecting off your hull eh, from all the sea creatures and everything like that. So that'll be last to go on. Notice it's still the same make as what the other two barrier coats are. That is very important. Try not to mix your stuff. Try and keep it the same company because they're already 
they've already been developed to actually work together, whereas you have one make and then another make, they might actually counteract each other and you might do more harm than good. So we're sticking with Hempel, we'll do the uh, twin pack first, we'll get our oh, nicey nicey with that, we'll let that dry, then we'll chuck the other barrier coat on and then a final coat of antifouling. In fact, I might get two. Shh. Depends how much is left in the tin. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope that gives you a little bit more insight about what we're going to do to protect the bottom. Not everybody's going to do that. Everybody's got their own ways of doing things. This is my way. Overbuild Barry, overprotection Barry. It's always the same. I'm not, I'm not going to change, especially the amount of money that the family has spent on this vessel. I mean, you've got to protect your interest, haven't you? Right guys, we'll get on with the washing tomorrow because today I've now got to go taxi duties. School's out soon, so I'll catch you in the morning.
Hello guys, I'm so sorry for interrupting your video once again um, but something's just arrived in the post I think you would like to see Come and have a look It's the last piece of the puzzle Now for those of you that don't know about boats, that's the steering helm That's a bit, the, the big wheel goes on and you turn and it turns the boat <laughs> Anyway, what I'd like to say is thank you to Stephen Andrews from ASAP Supplies. Now, this may be the only one in the country. That's how cracking this lad has done a job for me. Um, basically, a few months ago, I, w I needed an exchange because my hydraulic engineer suggested that I get one with a check valve. So when I went to inquire about it, they would say they'd do a swap with me, but they couldn't get any because of the COVID, obviously. Uh, it's really knackered up a lot of things. So they kept me in the loop and they were really good. Every month they were there saying, look Barry, there's nothing to do yet. We're due at the end of August. Uh, but if anything comes up meantime, we'll let you know. And lo and behold, bang, there you go. Stephen was straight on the internet. Barry, we've got one in stock. Do you want it? Straight on the phone, paid for it. Voila. You can't ask better than that. Another tick in the box for ASAP supplies. And thank you so much, Stephen. You're a dancer, pal. You're a dancer. Right, I'm going to be quiet now. We're going to get on and get this bottom painted. If you're wondering why it's so dark in these videos than now, come and have a look with me. This is what we've got to put up with. It is thick. It's been like this for two days now. And it's no very good for drying stuff. Thank God there's hardener in the first coat, eh? <laughs> right, I'm going to shut up now and we'll get on with it, shall we, guys? You're building a boat, you better get used to this. There's a lot to do. Hey, right, get a stick, get a star. Boys and girls, just a quick one for you. 
this is what happens when you didn't put the right types of paint together. Basically I tried to thin it out and unfortunately it didn't go quite according to plan and oh it's just no, it's just not. So there you go, lesson learned Buzz. You, you get it given advice, try and take your own. <laughs> All I tried to do was add a wee bit of thinner to it. Uh, just to make it spread out a bit and there you go, that's what happens when you try to cut corners and uh, cheat a little bit and so I've lost all that paint so back to the drawing board See how this goes. Is that? 
Right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm afraid I have to knock it on the head at that. It's all due to the fact I was wanting to make this one long video. However, after spending hours editing every night, I'm seeing how long this video is getting. So what I'm going to do now is break it down into two parts. Part one you're already watching, part two next week. So that's something you can look forward to. So if you like this video, do the usual. Please give it a thumbs up. Write a comment below if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel. You know that's the one I want. It's the one you really need to do. And tick that notification bell. And YouTube will make you feel very special indeed, my friends. Okay, until next week. Have a good one. All the very best. Why is it went all dark? You're all dark. Why are you dark? I don't understand why you're dark. It's a wee bit better. It's a bit better. Can I get into the shop? No, that's not going to do it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, before we go on to anything else, a little bit of news. Does that look okay? And that was the last piece of the apple pie, as they say. Did this even say that, Barry? Who knows? We got them from Cygnus Marine Boats and it's the last piece of the puzzle. There you go, that's what they say. Uh, but first of all, we've actually got two. So I want to get the bottom at least um, primered up before. Uh, So, I, before we're going into actually doing any work, I just want to say a huge thank you to Cygnus Marine Boats, to Steve Hope. Is it Hope or is it Pope? <laughs> I think it's Pope. Right, totally overexposed. That's better. That's ski whiff. There we are. Right, finally. But a big shout out to our Karen. Thank you very much, my love. Sick. Oh dear, look. Mm hmm. Action. It's a bit of the dark side. Welcome to the dark side. It's a little bit too dark. Here we go. Right boys and girls, I was just talking to you. Right boys and girls, we're going to quickly talk about um, paint over galvanised material. Now, the rule of thumb is nothing over 12 months. I'll say that again. That was just nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Sorry guys. It's like I know what I want to say. Oh well, that's pretty good. Right, we'll take it for the Right guys, because the Lindsay B is brand new and I want to protect the bomb. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, because Lindsay B is a brand new boat, I want to do the best by the boat every time that I do a job. That's just even worse. Oh my God. Take three. Right ladies and gentlemen, because Lindsay B is a brand new boat, 
I want to do what I can for the boat. Should have left the first one, that was the best one. <laughs> Take four. Right boys and girls, because the Lindsay B is a brand new boat, I want to do the best by the boat every single time. So, in order to get the boat bottom of the blah, 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 Right boys and girls, because the Lindsay B is a brand new boat, I want to do best by her every single time. And in order to do that, we need to look after the bottom as well as everything else on the boat. So, I've done it again. I should have left the first one. Jesus. Right ladies and gentlemen. Right ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm afraid I'm going to knock out the head at that. All due because I'm actually finding out that this is going to be one hell of a long video if I make it one video like I wanted to. So I'm going to knock into two parts for you. Part one you're already watching, part two next week. So you can look forward to that and we will get a bit of lipstick on our bum. <laughs> oh, that sounds really bad, doesn't it? <laughs> okay.